Hey YouTube, here to do a little chit chat video. I'm going to mesh a couple of things in into one video. A little bit of things that I've purchased here and there. I've had a couple of you ask me a couple of questions on things, mainly piercing um, outfit videos, which I, guys, I really don't. I work from home, as you probably know, um, because of the pandemic. I just got dressed for this video, really. Otherwise, I don't really do Zoom calls. and I have like a meeting, a weekly meeting on Mondays. And for that, um, I'll throw on a sweatshirt or, or any t-shirt. And usually I'm either wearing sweats on the bottom or pajamas on the bottom because no one sees me. Um, so I really don't get dressed anymore. I mean, occasionally I'll just get sick of sweats and I'll go out and I'll get dressed and like go food shopping. But um, I really don't have Zoom meetings like that. And when I do, like I said, I'll just throw on a sweatshirt or t you know a nice t-shirt or something um, to get through the call. Um, but yeah, that is, and then you, you see, you've seen my hauls. I have been buying a lot of loungewear um, and trying to dress those up with sneakers and boots and stepping out of my comfort zone because I've worked in the corporate world for years and I never really had like weekend outfits. So now I do, and now it's going to be very hard for me to get back into regular clothes. One, because I've gained weight. I mean, look, do we see this? Do we, do we see the extra skin? I mean, my God. Um, and then two, um, jeans and all that, and just regular, like, hard sole boots and shoes. It's going to be very hard for me to get back into that when the time comes. But, yeah, so um, it's just going to be a little chit-chat video. I bought a couple of things. I'm always buying things now because... One has to keep oneself sane. Um, and one day, hopefully, I will go back to the office next year and I'll have all these things to wear. Um, so let's get into it. And the first thing I want to show you is a new puppy. Let's meet Jackson. Jackson, look. He is the sweetest thing in the world. Look. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> He's being shy now. <laughs> Say hi. He is a Yorkie. I found him at a new pet shop that opened up uh, right outside my complex, which is unheard of in Jersey. I was looking for him for a while in shelters and, you know, a, a dog, a Yorkie. And you never find Yorkies in um, those kind of places where you have to be extremely lucky. But I me and my kids went just to look. And there he was. And I'm like, I'm going to do it. It's either now or never. And he is mine. It's his baby Jackson, <laughs> and he is a baby. Oh my goodness, handful, but he is adorable. Uh, I take him to the vet tomorrow to get his blood work and all that done, make sure this pet store wasn't lying to me. I have his genealogy back to for, for generations. Um, the no puppy mill promise, all that good stuff, but I'm so glad I finally got my little Yorkie. I've wanted a Yorkie since I was a baby, and look at that face. Look at that face. We got one ear that's starting to stand up on its own. <laughs> so we're waiting for the other ear. But he is a cutie pie. He's two months old. And I hope that he stays healthy and happy for a very, very long time. Right? Right, Jackson? Yeah. Jackson. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm very glad I got him. I was looking for a puppy for a while. When I first, the first two days I got him, I was a little thrown off because I've always been a cat person. And I've always been a cat person and dogs are so much, they're, they're much more different. They require a little more than cats. Cats, you can like bring a kitten. First of all, you can find a kitten anywhere and you don't have to pay $5,000 for a kitten. Um, and you put, you bring it home, you set it in his litter box and you, you know, you give it a little tree, it's a little cat towers and stuff and you're pretty much good to go. This little guy, I mean, we're halfway through. Well, I wouldn't even say halfway because he peed on my carpet today. But usually he makes it to his wee-wee pads um, at fine. And uh, it's the poo that he's having. He does, I, I don't know. So if any of you guys have a Yorkie, comment down below. How did, or any puppy. If you had a, if you have a, uh, if you've had a puppy and trained it successfully, house trained it, let me know your tips and tricks. Do you crate? Do you not crate? This little guy sleeps with me. He sleeps through the night. Uh, I, I never really bought. I never really thought I'd have a crate, but now I kind of see the beauties of having a crate. But he's rarely in there, and he sleeps with me, and I want him to be able to sleep with the kids when he gets a little older. So. 
I step out of the house every so often to leave him alone to let him know that uh, mommy won't be here all the time and you're gonna have to be okay with being by yourself. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been fun. It, it's a week tomorrow. I bought him last Thursday. Um, and tomorrow, well, whenever this goes up, I will have had him for a week and we are getting along swimmingly and I'm learning. It's a learning curve and it's a fun learning curve. Um, first I thought, what the hell am I thinking? I've got so much responsibility already, but he's turning out to be, you know, super cute and he sleeps through the night. So me and him could be friends. So that's that. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Again, any tips and trips, tricks for a little puppy, let me know. First puppy here, first dog owner, never had one before. It's kind of too cold and snow on the ground for him to go out, um, for me to take him out um, at the moment. So that's why I'm potty training him in the house. But whenever spring comes around and it gets a little warmer, um, I will take him out and we'll try that uh, as well. So yeah, that is my first major purchase and it is one that keeps keeps on giving and the YSL bag and the, Balen the Balenciaga, not the Balenciaga, and the Bottega Veneta bag that I had wanted will have to put on hold because he cost as much as those two bags put together, which is fine. I will have him for hopefully a very long life. He will give me much laughs as he has already done and the Balenciaga, uh, the Bene Bottega and the YSL will come. But that has not stopped me from my beloved coach. And I bought a couple of bags. I've got other bags coming on the way, but these bags I have wanted for a very long time. Two of which have been sold out for like two years. And just in a matter of two weeks, I found these bags and was so happy. <laughs> My Coach Kaif Facet Troop. Love it. I am so happy I found this bag. Of course, I will be doing um, reviews on these. I just wanted to, you know, pop them in this video. And my Coach Marley. I've find I have been searching for this bag for, for y'alls. Okay, like two years. <laughs> Stupid me. It was in the store. I had it in hand. I'm like, hey, I'm going to wait for a sale. Yeah, well, never went on sale. N uh, not to my knowledge, and they sold out, sold out. You cannot get these bags and they they are on the resales. First of all, you can't even get this color either. This color is very hard to find on the pre-sale, um, the pre-love markets. Of course, Coach Facebook group, uh, Brandon's group, Coach Collective on Facebook. Someone reached out to me, said she bought it, she didn't like it. She said, I know you're looking for it, do you want this? And I was like, yes. Uh, Love it. I will be doing a video. Of course, it will be coming. Love this. Bag. And another beauty I picked up recently from the outlet sales was the, is the Troop, um, the regular Troop Tote. Uh, beautiful, beautiful tote. Coach knows how to make a tote. Love this color tote. And then the, oh, this pepper of leather. I love it. I love this bag. It's got feet. It's gorgeous. Um, and again, I will be doing videos on these babies this I so I think is still available on the coach outlet uh website so check it out I bought it at 70% off I think it might it might be at 60% off but I mean 60% off is still an amazing sale so yay I've got three bags there may be more coming. also from the coach outlet sale I believe it is still um online as well this is the cave facet um sweatshirt love it i love this print it is so pretty i love the colors i need to try this on because i gotta make sure it fits because if it doesn't i need a medium i got this in a small uh it manufactured for two i mean the the price the retail price was 2.95 i think it's on the outlet website right now for 88 dollars um and i love it the color is so pretty it's got the raised c uh the, the rage coach um Excuse me, he's eating something. Gosh, see, cats ain't do this. The cats don't do this stuff. This one is just eating stuff. It's like, what are you eating? Ah! It's got the uh, Ray's uh, Coach Low. Uh, oh, I got it. Like, what is this? God. Um, stop it. I got now. I got. A, I got three kids now. Three of them. Anyway, this is the C. There's the A. 
the H is somewhere in there. There's another C. It's very cool. It says coach. Um, and yeah, it's like velvet or whatever that material is. It's very cute. Very cute sweatshirt. Very well made. Very plush. And check it out if you want it. It is still available on the Coach Outlet website. Of course, Zara is always going to make... Uh, Zara's been doing it for me in the... Um, what do you call it? The uh, loungewear department. So I picked up a couple of more sweaters. You know, I love whenever they have these kind of sweaters with the, the girl, the woman, female, whatever, um, picture logos or whatever have you, pictures. I love these sweaters. This one is like a shoelace um, material that, that's, that does the that makes up the girl's face. Love it, she's ambiguous. You don't know what she is. She could be white, she could be black, she could be anything. Love it, love the earrings. And it's cool. And I love that it's black because I need black sweatshirts. Love this one. I think this is still available. I bought this in a small and I think it's still available. So you can check it out. Very cool. For Valentine's Day, yes, I can be very corny sometimes, but I love a good red. I love this red. It's perfect for my skin tone. It pops right now. The lighting is kind of washing it out. It looks kind of almost iridescently orange, but it is a true red, kind of like my lipstick, and I love it. It should still be available. I'm a sucker for cut out um, shoulders uh, because I think my shoulders are my best feature. <laughs> So, and they haven't gained weight. So yeah, very cute. We'll probably wear it for Valentine's Day with, you guessed it, black sweatpants <laughs> and some like cute sneakers or something. As if, ah, ah, ah. He has my sweater. One reason why I got him now, because if ever, whenever I go back to work, I knew I would never be able to, um, stop it. I know I would never be able to have a puppy, but now I can train him, I'm home. And by the time, you know, work starts, he should be <laughs> relatively a good boy. But anyway, back to the sweater. Yeah, love it, love it. And this should still be available. I got this in a medium and it was only $35. As you can see, my nails are ready for Valentine's Day. I did add in a, some black because I was like, we can't be too corny. But I kind of wish I'd left it all red because the black kind of changes the vibe, but it's, it's all good. So yeah, very cute, very cute sweater from Zara. Then to, uh, excuse me, Jackson. And to further step out of my comfort zone, I was on standing online at, in Zara and I'm like dying of heat because I had my bum, <sighs> this dog, I had, he's like licking my feet now. Uh, I had a big puff, my, my coach puffer jacket and I was sweating and I'm like, okay, for when I'm home, oh, I jump in the car, jump to the mall and jump back in the car, go home. I don't need this big puffer coat all the time. So... I was waiting online about to pay for something and I saw this sweater, oh, not sweater. It's like a very heavy um, button down, very heavy, thick material. And I'm like, those would look cute with leggings um, and like a, a like a fitted tee or a fitted long sleeve tee. And you know, with a nice big wooly scarf, this would be perfect for when I'm just running to the mall on chilly days and I don't have to wear this big puffer coat. This was on sale. I got this in the sale and so it may not be available and it was 35, uh, the on sale it was $35. It was 69, I think originally. But yeah, my, my sister, my niece bought the, I think she bought, there was a red and pink, like a fuchsia version of this and she bought that color. But I think this is gonna be really cool. You know, lumberjack chic <laughs> um and i love it and i'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and wear this because i wouldn't usually go for something like this but i love it and it'll keep with some like even some like um what do you call it um if i if i can get back into my skinny jeans very cute very cute for the spring too um on the days of chill and for now so very happy I picked this up. Very cool. Can't wait to wear it. Then on my many haunts to Zara, <laughs> I came across the black pair to these and they went down to $15. And I was like, no, I don't need them, but they're $15. So, you know, since dictate that I buy them. Um, and I love the cream ones. You saw the cream ones in my um, a video two ago. And so I was like, yeah, we're going to buy the black ones and black. And I bought them. Very cool, very nice to have, just to have, you know. I love the detail on the lace. 
but um if they went down to 15 bucks i mean why would i leave them there they were in my size they would look like they just came out of the back because they were all wrapped and fresh and i was like yes for 15 dollars, i will have you so i doubt these are available anymore but very cool very cool sneaker these are some of the purchases that have arrived i have a little um some of you have asked me for a updated jewelry collection a lot of you have asking me for a handbag video um a handbag collection also like exclusively coach collection i will do that i promise and i will do it at the end of this year only because i would like to encompass the bags that i buy this year i have about three bags coming <laughs> and then the bags that i sacrificed for this little guy who's currently chewing on my pillow i will try to get at the end of the year and then i will do my handbag collection video that will be up um and hopefully next year we'll have moved on to something else we'll see um but yeah that is that i got a little valentine's day jewelry haul coming bought some pieces from the last line from baby uh, baby gold shop baby gold i think that's what it's called baby gold and lnm so i will have that up as a little valentine's day kind of uh jewelry haul and um yeah so that's that and no oh, quickly i will do an update of my ear piercings uh the latest two ear piercings, ear piercings i got was the daith and this mid helix and i got them uh, in the covid era when the shops opened in the summer and i was like i need my ear pierced so this one i went to a i got done at a piercing studio near me because i didn't want to go in the city and i was being cheapskate and didn't want to pay like uh, a lot of money to get it done uh, i sung its praises at first and then my ear got infected because it was the wrong jewelry in it which was halfway my fault because i brought my jewelry in and they pierced me with it which really they really shouldn't do they should be like no sorry you have to get our jewelry and then change that out but whatever it got really swollen i mean it almost ate the jewelry that was in there so i called my piercer which is cassie which i always usually go to um cassie lopez and she was like i'm going to look up a piercing shop um that's accredited in your area and you go there and she gave me the place to go which was sanctum i believe piercing in uh new brunswick went there and they gave me um she took it out it was like Ugh. they're like you can let it close or we can put in a piece of jewelry that it should be pierced with so of course i'm like i want my i want my piercing so i chose this little um it's a horseshoe it's white gold and it has the flat back um thing it's a little it's still as you can see it hasn't healed at all and it still bothers me it's still it's got a, it's a little puffy i don't know if you can see the little puff the little bump Mo mainly is because i sleep on it but you shouldn't sleep on it but again like i can move it now it doesn't hurt but it'll take a while my my cartilage piercings take like two to three years to heal so i fully expect this to bother me until next summer but yeah they changed it out and immediately i'm telling you immediately my ear felt so much better um so st try to stay away from those butterfly backs when you get pierced because they hold bacteria they're not good get try to always go to a piercer who's going to use the flat you see the disc the flat back um and it just it's just doing so much better and then when it heals i can put in the jewelry that i had bought for it as was what i get for trying to cut corners um this little guy has a little bump bump up here like i said my cartilage piercings you know these this this doesn't bother me and these two they don't bother me anymore but this guy slept on it i've been sleeping on it because i've been trying to keep an eye on this little dude who's currently trying to get under my couch he's trying to figure out how to get under it so cute you have to see him but um it'll go away just i use the salt solution this this um whatever the solution they give you and um so yeah that's the mid helix it'll take a while for it to heal but it's doing much better and i love the little seahorse i think it's a bvla piece the seahorse cost me a hundred bucks but um <laughs> hey it's doing much better um, and then the Daith has not given me at all. It has not given me trouble at all. Um, you just got to clean it, keep it clean. 
Um, this I got pierced with. This cost me like five hundred dollars a whole for like four fifty or whatever, but never gave me a problem. It's a diamond gold piece, and this the date and my rook were the easiest piercings in the world to heal. They never bothered me. I mean, I got a little bump on here, but it was it never. It, other than that, it didn't stay long, and it go it went away. And I think because they're in ear, that's why. This guy, I can wear ear inner earbuds now. It doesn't bother me. But no one told me that these piercings, like if you get a ring, it moves and it kind of, sometimes it tickles. I'm like, Ew. Um, it flaps back and forth sometimes instead of lays laying flat. But um, I love it. Uh, do I don't really think I have any piercings in the future done. I think I have little ears and I kind of like the spacing. I would love another piercing because I there's so many earrings that are so cute that I want to get. But I kind of like the, the spacing. Like I could get, like I have like a natural thing here. And I used to have a piercing here back in the day. I could get like a ring here, but I think they're fine the way they are. I don't have anything in my first holes, but um, mainly out of laziness. But um, yeah, though that's my piercing update. Everything else is healed. I actually, I put a thicker ring in this, uh, these two piercings. Uh, this never bothers me at all. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm digging the, the ear piercings. So if you have any questions or comments about that, leave it below. Yeah, if you're looking to get a date, again, my experience, you know, the pain lasts for a second. The, the, the actual, the putting in the jewelry is the, the what is, you know, the pinching thing. But uh, afterwards, this didn't, it didn't bother me. The rook didn't really bother me. It wasn't bad either to get pierced. And you just got to be diligent with cleaning them and just know that it's going to take a year or two to heal. For me, it does. But I'm okay with it because I love it. They're cute. Love it. So yeah, I think that is about it. Um, let me see. I had people ask me a couple of things. Um, yeah, let's see. No, Allison Brown had asked me to style my red and white handbags. The only, well, I have red, well, I do have red handbags. Because <laughs> I could try that. I got to get to this. And she asked me like three months ago. Uh, the only white, white handbag I have is my Gucci a handbag which um i guess i could style too uh, she wanted to do casual semi-formal formal formal i don't go anywhere formal ever I, I don't have friends who get married they're all married i don't go anywhere semi-formal really either anymore i could do casual though we could do casual i could i could show you how to do that um she wanted me to discuss how i store and clean and condition my handbags i don't condition them i don't clean them if i you know if there was a little spot on it and I, or I get like you know a little damp cloth and get the spot out but I don't really condition them I used to I, I like have an old old bottle of coach conditioner that they gave me for free but I never really use it I don't I don't have suede bags really uh yeah I don't have suede bags so I don't need to condition those and if I did have a suede bag I would I don't I wouldn't take it out in the rain um so i don't feel the need to condition it um yeah uh, she had wanted me to show some meal planning and cooking i did in the beginning of the pandemic i'd done vlogs cooking and then after a while i'm like yeah <laughs> so tired of cooking um but i think that was all the questions i had uh mostly was for the ear piercing and the handbag videos which i promise uh to get to i will do it um and uh, let me know what else you guys would like me to discuss i've got a couple of videos coming up um that i hope you enjoy and i just want to say again thank you guys for sticking with me the ogs the people who always comment the people who don't comment thank you thank you thank you um this journey has been fun it's a hobby for me i love it and it's fun is sharing uh, with like-minded people things because normally family and friends, some of them are kind of like, why would you spend money on that bag? I'm like, why would you spend money on that car? Why would you spend money on that washing machine? You know, so <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, you're going to say to the art washing machine that you could talk to. You just, uh, just what about the ones that you just push? People are always going to say something. So you guys enjoy your bags and whatever it is you enjoy, enjoy it. But anyway, let me know what else you would like me to talk about. And I will be talking to you in my next one. Take care.